Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor and if you're new here, welcome. So today's video is a very long overdue video of an updated uh, version of what I do with my hair. My hair has grown out so much from the last video that I made, which is blowing up by the way. So thank you for the love, but it's time to chop these locks down and update this do. So let's get right into the video. All right, first I'd like to just take my pick and pick out my hair. That way I have an approximate and an accurate length before I start cutting. You don't wanna be cutting on not picked out hair. You want an approximate and accurate length. My hair is super thick, it's grown a lot. Ooh, chow, it is thick and dense. Pass it to people. <laughs> All right, these are the clippers that I use. They are the wall design clippers. I will be linking everything down in the description bar below. Um, I have left and right ear taper guards. I finally got a hold of them. Had to get them wholesale, so yeah. But yeah, I'm taking the, looks like the left one. Yeah, the left one. And I am going to be using that on my right ear. So you kind of have to do the opposite. So left tapered guard going on the right ear. And I am just taking off pretty much the bulk of what's there. As you can see, a huge chunk came off, but that's all I'm doing. It's nothing serious. This is just basically a rough cut and a rough outline of how I want my taper to go. And now I'm just gonna do exactly the same thing that I did on the right ear. I'm using the right ear taper guard and I'm just gonna do it to the left ear. So right ear taper guard onto the left ear. And again, just taking away the bulk of the hair on that side. All right, I'm just going back in with my pick just to make sure I like the shape of how my hair is looking or if I wanna adjust anything. It looks pretty good to me, so we can just move on to the next step. Just brushing away that excess hair since I'm gonna be changing guards. I'm taking the number three guard and I have the lever open or down if you will. And I'm just going in and just defining where I would like my taper to go. And I'm just taking that and I kind of have a science because I've been cutting my hair for a little while where I know where to stop. I kind of have this little lump in the back of my head. So I just go in with the guard and, sorry, with the clippers. And I just go up and I just trim off all that hair. Next, I'm taking the number two guard and I am gonna have the lever open again. And I am just going in and I am now really defining where I would like that taper to be, really focusing on the hairline more so than anything. I'm still bringing it up, but I'm not going in as high as I was before. Again, focusing on the hairline, um, really just blending. This is like where I just focus on the blend. And still on the number two with the lever uh, closed now, I'm really just focusing on fading out any harsh lines in between where I had the number three and the number two guard. Okay, taking the number one guard and the lever is open, this is where I really focus on the neckline area and like behind my ears. I like to really focus on that and blend and make sure that I am fading that. So I just take super small strokes, not getting too crazy with this. Also, just a disclaimer, I am not a licensed a cosmetologist or a barber. This is just how I cut my own hair. If you don't like it, oh well, but this is just what I do to upkeep my hair. Okay, I've moved back to the number two guard and I'm just gonna close the lever. And this is what I'm doing now is just taking the clippers and going downward. And this is how I just blend and fade everything together. So I'm on the number two, the lever is closed and I'm going down now and just blending everything together. Okay, we're finally at a number five guard. The lever is open, and now we're just gonna be focusing on the distinct line, as you can see where the taper is and where the bulk of the hair is. I'm just going in and taking down some of that bulk of that hair because it's a big, distinct 
difference between like the transition from my hair being longer on top to the taper. So I'm just taking that and evening out that transition. And finally going in with the number four guard with the lever open and I am just going to transition everything together. This is like the last blend uh, cut, if you will. So between the five and the three, I use the four to transition everything seamlessly. I totally forgot to turn the camera on, but I think this is the number six guard. But yeah, I literally just took that and just went all over my head just to even everything out and also take down a lot of that length on the top. So I think this is a number six and yeah, just went all over my head. Just doing a final pick through just to see if I like the shape, see if the length is good, looks good to me, see if I need to clean anything up. And this is what my hair looks like before I jump into the shower. So looks kind of rusty right now, but um, once I wet it and everything, it'll definitely smooth out. So yeah, this is what my hair looks like after everything is cut. So everything is done and now I'm just going to jump into the shower and wash my hair. I'm gonna do that off camera, but I'm gonna show you all the things that I use. For shampoo, I've been using the Camille Rose Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse. I like this, it gets sudsy and it smells really good. I like to go in with this little shampoo brush as well when I shampoo my hair. For my regular conditioner, I like to use my OG, the Aussie Miracle Moist Conditioner. Um, and if I'm deep conditioning, I like to use the Bea Curls Coconut Oil Deep Conditioning Mask. It smells so good. So this is what my hair looks like fresh out of the shower. I usually do all of my styling in the shower because A, it's less messy and my hair just works better when it is dripping wet. So here I have a little spray bottle with some water and I am just spraying down my hair to get it as wet as possible. As you can see, it takes forever for water to penetrate my strands and I'm just going in and wetting my hair, just getting it soaking wet. For my leave-in, I am taking the Bea Curls Coconut Curl Defining Cream, uh, leave-in or curl styling cream, um, either one, that's what I use it for. And I'm taking about that much and I am just putting it all throughout my strands. Now again, I usually style my hair in the shower while it is dripping wet, but for YouTube purposes and for this video, I'm outside of the shower. So I am just gonna go in with that spray bottle and I'm just going to soak my hair and make it as wet as possible. That way I can get the product to activate a little bit more. Definitely have a towel on hand if you are doing this outside of the shower. If you are a 90s baby, then you already know about the original OG Natural Oasis. <laughs> uh, I don't know why we stopped using it. I'm just taking a small amount in my hands and I'm using that as my oil that I like to put on before I use the gel. That way my hair is not hard and crunchy. Next, I'm taking my favorite gel, which is the Wet Line Extreme. The hold is 10. I'm taking about uh, that size amount and I'm just working that through my curls, I'm just getting it really into the strands. And as you can see, it's white, but don't worry, it dries down clear. Yeah, that little patch in the back of my head, I always have to put a little extra gel because it's a little problem area. Uh, yeah, here we go with the water again, I'm trying to make my hair soaking wet just cause that's how my hair does. But the more wet my hair is, the better it cooperates. So yeah, just soaking wet is the way I like to go. Next, I'm taking my fine tooth comb or a rat tail comb would work either. And I'm just creating a part. I like to have a little part in my hair and I'm just defining that, trying to make it as straight as possible. There we go. My part looks good. So we can move on now. Going in with the small side of my fine tooth comb, I'm just going in and creating coils with a little twisting action. As you can see, it is also helping get out that extra product. So that's another reason why I like to use the comb instead of my fingers. It also just helps define my curls a little bit more, especially in areas that might be problematic like that. <laughs> part in my head that I showed earlier. So yeah, I just do this all over my head. It's super tedious, but I like to do this when I really want a defined look. Mm -hmm. 
And right here, I am starting to comb out the hair that I would like to use for my edges. Uh, I just do this so that when it is time to lay my edges, I'm not finding or trying to find hair. It's already there and then I can just swoop it in and I'm not messing up or disturbing the other curls. Now I'm just taking my boar bristle brush and I'm just laying down the back of my hair. I'm gonna be taking my blow dryer and my diffuser as well. This is the blow dryer that I use. And I like to set it on the highest like speed fan setting, if you will. And I like to put it on cool. So that's high speed and cool. And then I just literally sit there and diffuse my hair. I like to diffuse to up to about 60% and then I will just air dry for the rest of the way. And those little clips I have in my hair are just to hold the part, that way it doesn't get lost and it stays crisp. All right, now we on to the edges. So I like to use the 24 hour edge tamer by Eben and I believe it's in the extra mega hold. And I just apply it to the areas of the hair that I took out earlier. And then I just use this little edge brush. It has the brush on one end and then the fine tooth comb on the other. I don't get very fancy when it comes to my edges. I keep it pretty simple and I'm such a perfectionist when I when I do do them, so I'm gonna speed up the rest of this. All right, y'all, what y'all think? This is the finished look. This is how I do my hair. Again, I am not a professional. I know that it could probably look a little bit better, but this is just what I do to my hair and I like it. So yeah, it's gonna look like this. <laughs> If you enjoyed today's video, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, give this video a big thumbs up. So until next time, I will see you all soon. Bye.